you, Till. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, thanks for attending this talk. Uh, it sounds like there is an unfair competition this morning <laughs> with the post this talk and everything. So thank you for thank you very much for <laughs> attending this talk. So my name is Eric, um, as Tim as Till said. Um, so uh, today I'm going to talk about the Geo Alchemy uh, Library, uh, which is a Python library, and you can find my slides online at this URL. So what is uh, Geo Alchemy? So that's the definition. Um, <laughs> it's a library for using. SQL spatial databases from Python. So that's basically what it is. So, um, so we have PostGIS. Uh, PostGIS is, um, I would say, the main open source spatial databases database. Um, it's the one we all love here. Uh, it's used by many people. Uh, it's very robust. It has many features, many functions. Uh, it's, a, it's a great database, um, so that's nice. And we also have Python. And Python is, is a nice um, programming language uh, that a lot of people use. Uh, it's, become, it's become a very popular language, and especially in the GIS uh, field. Uh, we have many libraries. Uh, many great software implemented in, in Python. Uh, for example, we have the Shapley, Shapley library, uh, which is written and developed by Sean Gillis. Uh, it's a great library, and we have many more. Uh, we have MapProxy, um, which also is a, a great software that, that we use. And you can find, and there is also um, an official Python repository where you can find packages, and everything is in this repository, which makes it very convenient to download and install uh, Python software. So we have great, uh, great tools. We have Python and PostGIS, and now we need good ways and good tools, good libraries, to be able to use PostGIS from Python, and that's exactly the reason why we are developing uh, GeoAlchemy. To be able to use uh, spatial databases, um, mainly PostGIS from, from Python code. <coughs> but there is another uh, big project, uh, very well-known project uh, that does that already. This is Django. And Django has GeoDjango inside it. Uh, so GeoDjango brings uh, the geospatial stuff uh, into Django. So we can, wonder, we can wonder why. And in Django, there is an ORM. And this ORM uh, works for, with GeoDjango, it works for geo, geometry columns. So yes, it's great. Django is great. But it's not, it's not everything. Um, sorry. But there is something else. So, so Django is a web, uh, is a web framework, and we want to be able to use uh, SQL spatial databases from Python, but outside, for also for non-web applications. So, for example, you may need to write a script uh, for data analysis or for data visualization, and this is just a script. You don't want a full web application. And Django is really a web framework. So do you don't want to install Django and GeoDjango just to write a data analysis script, for example. And also, um, there are other uh, very interesting uh, web frameworks out there, Python web frameworks. Has anyone here heard about Flask, Bottle, and Pyramid? <coughs> wow, a lot of people. So yes, that's, that's true. <laughs> there are also very great, uh, great frameworks uh, with lots of features and lots of users. 
but those are more on the they're mi micro frameworks I would say not all of them are micro but more on, on this side compared to, to Django and in particular they don't have any they don't have any opinion on the SQL SQL toolkit that you use with those frameworks I, they're agnostic to, to that compared to Django which comes with with its, its own ORM uh, software <coughs> and people who use um, Pyramid, Bottle and Flask they also use SQL Alchemy so SQL Alchemy is a general purpose SQL toolkit for Python so don't mix up SQL Alchemy and Geo Alchemy. Geo Alchemy is based on that general purpose uh, toolkit. And there are good reasons to love, to love this, uh, this toolkit. It's, uh, it's a fantastic piece of software, very, very, very flexible, much more flexible than any other ORMs, uh, Python ORM, Django, Django included. So I'm going to present um, that SQL Alchemy uh, toolkit. So the definition is it's the database toolkit for, for Python. And I'm going to talk about its <laughs> philosophy because it's very important to know <coughs> the philosophy of the, of the framework. It's very different from, from other tool toolkits. So as opposed to most of the ORMs that we find um, on the internet, uh, this one is not about abstracting the database at all. Uh, because abstracting it is hiding. And S SQL Alchemy doesn't want to hide the, the database from, from you. It's more about automation, which means uh, you as a developer instruct SQL Alchemy to do the grunt work you give it. So it's your, and, and the re relational form of the data is completely preserved. It's, so SQL Alchemy provides a rich vocabulary to express decision made by the developer, which means <coughs> it's your responsibility to build the queries, uh, to know about the relational form of your data, et cetera. You will, you will need to do join and query filter, etc. It's on your SQL Alchemy just give you the, the tools to be able to, to do that in a, in a clean way. So that's, that was the, that's the philosophy of, of the library. And now more on the architecture of the library. Um, <coughs> there, is, there is two parts. Uh, there is the core and the core is the low level layer and it's essentially an SQL expression system. So you can basically write SQL in Python with, with a very nice construct. And on top of that, there is an object relational mapper, uh, ORM, which most people know, I think, what it is. And this one is, is based, obviously, on, on the core. Uh, but you can use one on the or the other. If you build a very a high level application like um, a web a web application, you would probably use the ORM. But if you just want to write a script uh, for data analysis or for manipulating data, copying data from one table to another, things like that, you can use the core. And the <coughs> by using the core, uh, you can get uh, better performance. So some people start with the ORM, and when they need to be, when they need to have very performant queries, then they switch uh, to the core. <coughs> so here is an example of uh, an SQL Alchemy query. Um, so this one uses the the ORM uh, because you can see that. This is a class, this is a class, so this is really based on, on objects, um, object models. So this is a query uh, with a join, so we can see that the join is explicit here, 
So it's a join between user and address, and this is a filter. So it's a very nice way to write in Python um, a, a query. So now GeoAlchemy. So GeoAlchemy is actually a very thin, uh, very thin layer above SQL Alchemy. SQL Alchemy is, is very, very flexible. It's a framework onto which you can, you can build. So that's the reason Geo Alchemy is just a thin layer ab above it. And it obviously has the same philosophy as SQL Alchemy. Yeah. So here is an, a Geo Alchemy query um, example. So it's very similar to what we saw uh, at the previous slide. So it's a query with a filter. And inside the filter, we can see some positive functions. So ST buffer, ST area. So this query is, uh, this query is the lakes whose buffers have areas that are greater than 33. So it, it really looks like uh, SQL alchemy, and it also looks like uh, positive. And also GeoAlchemy uh, integrate well with uh, other Python libraries. So for example, Shapley. Um, so Shapley, I don't know if you know Shapley. Uh, it's, a, it's a Python wrapper for the Geos, uh, Geos geometry uh, library. And GeoAlchemy exposes two shape and from shape functions <laughs> to be able co to convert Geoalchemy geometries to Shapley geometries and Shapley geometries to Geoalchemy geometries. So in this example, I used the same query as as previously, and then I can use the two shape function to convert. So I get a lake, which is a feature, and the lake as a geometry, and I can convert this geometry to a shapefile geometry to a Shapley geometry. And then I can use everything that that Shapley uh, supports. So, for example, here in this example, I call the representative point uh, function on on this geometry, and then I can get the WKT representation of this representative point. So this is this is very very simple and very very powerful. Uh, just a quick status on, on the project. Um, we released uh, version two six months ago. So this is the documentation for this release. So it's a completely new release, uh, which benefits from the latest advances uh, of the SQL Alchemy project, uh, with which makes it even thinner. It's a very thin layer, even thinner than the previous version. Uh, the API has been has been improved. Uh, now it works with both the core and the ORM of SQL Alchemy, and it was not the case before. Before it only worked uh, with the ORM, so which means that now GeoAlchemy is a very good candidate for writing. Uh, scripts and data, manipula data manipulation scripts um, uh, for, pos for POSIS. And we now support POSIS 2, uh, which was actually the reason for, for this new version, the initial reason for this new version of GeoAlchemy. And we support all the types that POSIS supports. So, which means geometry, geography, and even raster. Um, raster is a new type. We uh, raster support was was added a few months ago. It's very recent. And also, I would like to uh, emphasize that the project is fully documented and, and tested. We have we have hundred percent coverage um, by by tests. And we have a full documentation with tutorials. So one tutorial 
one tutorial for the core and another one for the ORM, and a full API reference for for the library. So you can find all the documentation at this URL here. Now, in terms of exposure, uh, so the project, the library is used in in production, both the first version and the second version. Uh, it's used by <laughs> many customer projects that we do uh, at Camp to Camp. Most of our projects are based in on this library, and there is also this uh, Skylines uh, project that you can find on the web. This is this application. This application is based on the second version of Geo Alchemy. And it's written by, it's developed by this guy, Tobias Bienik. Uh, he's a German guy. And he's been very helpful um, working on, on Geo Alchemy tool. Uh, so he's one of the main uh, contribut contributors of, of the project. So that's it. Um, Thank you very much for your attention. If there are any questions, I'm happy to answer them.